Hi, I'm Josh Kummer, and this is my Play London session, and this is The Ants. Um, my name is Josh Kummer, and I'm a singer-songwriter from Swindon. Uh, music was my life, actually. That was it. It was just music. Um, Staying in after school, listening to the albums and picking up the guitar and just playing for like six years solid. I mean, that was all it it was, you know, that was, that was it. Uh, my main influences are people like Ray LaMontagne, Tracy Chapman, um, just emotive kind of singers. Um, I like hearing people's pain. Yeah. So, yeah. In my head, then you sing. Never gonna find all the answers. Yeah, when um when don't go went to number one, it was kind of a complete shock. I mean, I, I knew we had a good track on our hands because we was playing all the festivals and stuff. But um, but yeah, when it coming at number one, I thought it was gonna be like top twenty, top forty, and to hit number one just changed everything instantly, you know. And um, but it gave me it gave me a platform to release my music and get in the studio and meet people, and that's what it was all about for me, you know, just just getting my step into, into the music scene. I don't care if we're gonna quit. I love I love working with Wretch and I love working with other people as well, you know. So um, it's weird. I, I, growing up I've always been into my acoustic music, but I always envisioned working with a rapper and for some reason it kind of just happened and it was it worked all along, you know, it was weird. The album's coming out in next year, March, and uh, it's taken me forever to to do this album. But no, but like the last three years have, have been where I've been really putting work in in the studio and um, writing the songs. But I'm happy, man. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, I just see what reaction it gets, you know. Um, the most difficult aspects of recording the album for me was probably just kind of don't go when don't go come out and was a big hit it kind of just took our kind of time and just squashed it down to, to that you know so I mean just getting things done in time and finding my sound and finding myself as a musician uh, in a short space of time was the hardest part but making the album is kind of natural and easy man it's what I love to do you know to those who don't wait for the right time, right time. The songwriting process um, mostly just have a beer and uh, and write a couple of songs. No, um, I don't know. I kind of take my influence and inspiration from outside, like looking at people, you know, because obviously I'm only 21 years old and I haven't really experienced loads of different things, you know. So I kind of look for things happening around me and uh, and yeah, just just get loads of girlfriends and split up with them and it makes songs, you know. That's what happens. It's like songs come out of it. Um, everything I do in the studio um, comes down to actually getting onto the road. So, um, I mean, I always love performing live and, and recording just gets me to that place, you know, but I love it as well. But. Uh, 2013, um, I'm just looking forward to getting the album out and then follow and a couple of other singles. And But mainly I just want to get into a place where I can just be on the road for, for most of the year, you know. And uh, I mean, I've done this this year. But I've kind of been supporting people like Leanna Havas and Delilah. But I like to do some headline shows and do my own tour, you know. That's what I want to be next year. So.